Ej, też, też się tutaj zjebało, nie wiem. Bo mi gra, ale tutaj... Yep. And that's me, DJing my own music at a music festival. And this? Yeah, you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. It all started exactly four weeks ago. Today is the 19th of July, and that means I have exactly four weeks to prepare for my upcoming festival. And I... I kind of don't have any music prepared. Uh, <laughs> so... Whoa, 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 hold up. That's not telling the full story. My goal was to release a new EP on the day of the festival, and at this time I did have two finished tracks, and I didn't document how I made them, because at that time I didn't even know I was gonna vlog the entire experience. Either way, two tracks wasn't enough, and I still had to make a whole bunch of new tracks for my EP. Sometimes it can take me months before I stop lingering on a single project, so... This deadline was very tight for me. Just wanted to clarify. I... I'm just not inspired. Like, today and yesterday as well, I was just... I spent so many hours just trying to come up with something that I liked. I think what also happened is that my, my process got too repetitive and it's just boring and yeah, I, I'm not sure where this is gonna go. But yeah, that's, that's how things are going right now. This creative rut pretty much went on for the next three days until this happened. Yo, I, I'm just at the train station right now, and um, my, my train is super f***ing late, so I, I, I have to wait an hour be, before I, I can get on, and uh, I'm, I'm kinda inspired by this environment, you know, I'm, look, check out what I'm cooking up here. <laughs> I started recording the sounds from the station and the music just came effortlessly. By the time I got home I started working on the project more and before I knew it I had an arrangement laid down and even some lyrics. That's the thing, stepping outside your usual space, experiencing life, that's where inspiration really hits. Creativity doesn't come from sitting for hours upon hours at your desk like this. It comes from living life, you know, it comes from the chaos, the randomness and the... Sorry, I... I gotta take this. What's up? What? I just abandoned that project? Yup, I worked on that project a whole lot, and six days later, I just decided to leave it behind for seemingly no reason. But it seemed like I had more ambitious plans. Yeah, that was kind of a flop. Uh, but check this out. Today I want to record the vocals for this track. I was thinking of some sort of vibe of a demon speaking to the mere mortals. Which is exactly why I'm outside, because this is the best place to record vocals. There's amazing acoustics here. And since I don't really need the vocals to be synced to the beat, I don't need to listen to the track. So here goes. I guess that was alright. I'm thinking this track in particular could be a pretty good start for my EP. This could be something that I start my DJ set with, just to, you know, hype people up for something incredible. Because <laughs> it's like, the build-up is huge in this one. Let's see how 
how is this gonna turn out? Okay, the idea for the EP was becoming clearer and clearer, and I was finally getting something done. But, of course, it couldn't have been that simple. Alright guys, call me f***ing stupid, but I, I just can't be bothered to work on that uh, project I, I showed you earlier, the, the one with the epic build-up. Now I'm cooking this up. <laughs> When do I f***ing make drum and bass, though? <laughs> this is kinda dope, though. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. This pattern of constantly starting and abandoning new projects pretty much continued for the next three days. I started this. Then this. And this. Was finally starting to catch up to me. Yo, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of shit. I I couldn't finish a single track. I don't know. It's it's like 12 days until the festival actually happens, and next week I'm I'm definitely gonna have to start preparing my actual DJ set and start practicing it. Right now I'm I'm not really feeling it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I I <laughs> I don't. F I wanted to play at that festival, as crazy as that might sound. Uh, that, that's where I'm at right now. Things weren't going well for me. The next few days just kinda went by, and I still only had two tracks for my EP. Welcome back to my vlog. Uh, I know I'm going like back and forth in like, what, what I actually want to do, but right now I have like eight days, I, I'm pretty sure, till the festival actually happens. So the situation is, is kind of critical, so I, I, I need to start preparing the DJ set soon. And I don't really have the complete set list of the tracks for the EP, so I, I kind of just need to crank them out, right? I know I've been starting so many projects, right? Right now I, I think I have like two projects that are sitting at like 90% finished and I also want to make another track, a new one, and, and I, I need momentum. So today I'm going to finish that Demon Techno thing, that epic track, I just need to mix and master it, so that's the plan for today. Wish, wish me luck. <laughs> See ya. Alright, as, as promised, I, I did the thing. It's exporting right now. Took fucking forever, but... <laughs> uh, I have the final version, I think. It's not my best work by any means, like, I'm, I'm not too proud of it. But it's pretty fucking cool, still. Um, I, I, I've kinda gotten sick of it over the course of the last few days. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, so there's one track finished. Now I just need to do this a couple more times. <laughs> this small win actually gave me a lot of hope and momentum. So I decided to give that train station project, remember that one? I decided to give it a second chance. I worked my ass off as day turned into night and it finally paid off. Look at that, would you look at that, I'm on f***ing fire right now. I just finished this second track, the one I started making at the train station. I am so happy that I actually decided to push through it, because I, I, I was borderline wanting to abandon both of these projects, and I ended up finishing both of them in a single day. And tomorrow I, I want to start some new ideas, you know? I want to make yet another track for this EP. <laughs> you guys keep me accountable. So see you tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna make some music, hopefully. Um, so far it's going kinda... eh. I think I'm trying too hard, honestly. I, I can tend to do that from, from what I've noticed. I'm not very inspired and I'm a bit burned out, maybe? I don't, I don't fucking know. The ideas just aren't coming to me and so I'm, I'm just taking a break right now. Um, I don't know, what's, what's up with you guys? <laughs> what are you doing today? <laughs> Later that day, I tried again. I... I tried sampling... Belarusian folk. To... 
get over my creative rut, like, because it would be something new, right? And I watched a whole f bunch of tutorials on how to make um, bass, how we... Remixes. I thought that could like be something novel and and like inspire me uh, somehow. But not gonna lie, I've been sitting at this project for like fucking hours now, and it's just going nowhere. So, yo guys, it's me. I I decided to give myself another chance, and I think the bass house tutorials really got to me, and I started making some fucking crazy basses and this is what I, I've got. <laughs> not bad, not great. Um, this is like a project I could see myself finishing. I'm just not sure if that's gonna happen. Um, we'll see. I, I'm gonna keep you updated. <laughs> I was on the right path, but my old habits got the best of me. What's up guys, it's, it's me again. Same shirt, different day. That's a pun, you should laugh. <laughs> I think I'm not giving you guys enough updates. Cause I'm, I'm trying to make music, right? But I'm also trying to vlog this, so it's a bit complicated for me. Because yeah, I'm not showing you what, what I'm doing, because I'm afraid it's just gonna turn out like shit, I'm not even gonna end up saving the project. I'm starting a whole bunch of projects that you guys do not see. Today I, I started like four, I think. This one I kinda ended up liking. I know I'm st starting yet another project and I haven't finished the one before, but uh, I'm just kinda not passionate about that, that one before. I'm just... Hopping a little bit all over the place. <sighs> I must have learned nothing, huh? Abandoning more projects is obviously not good, but there's something else we need to deal with first. Alright, um... I've got literally five days left until the festival, so I guess I, I should like actually start preparing the actual DJ set and start practicing for it. It's been a while since I last DJ. It was a year ago. Oh. Let's get to doing that. Thing is, I don't even have a DJ deck, so you, you might be thinking, okay, he's gonna play a DJ set, but how is he actually gonna DJ? Well, my friends, I do have this. My trusty midi keyboard i'm not gonna be playing tracks on on this okay this, this is not how it's gonna look like but i am going to be using these buttons and these knobs and sliders so we've got four one two three four columns here that will correspond to four different audio tracks inside of Ableton. So so if I put one of these tracks in inside Ableton, you will start to see that these specific buttons will start to light up in the colors of these channels right here. As you might guess, when I press one of them, it will start to play. And how I'm actually going to be mixing these tracks in and out of each other, I'm gonna be using these four for automating the volumes of, of the channels. And I'm gonna be using these for cutting the lows away from them. Yeah, that's that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna be using these three sliders for automating the low, mid and high frequencies. Whenever I'm gonna want to build some tension, I'm just gonna quickly do this and uh, the low frequencies are gonna be cut away just so i can introduce some fun switch ups uh, on the go yeah that's it see no dj deck no problem with this basic setup i started practicing the transitions at first of course they were quite bad they were horrible but with more and more repetitions i slowly started getting the hang of it maybe even a little too much It's, it's pretty fun to fuck around with the tempo knob on this MIDI keyboard. So oh, fuck. And after a day of working on that DJ set, I was back to my regular schedule. Alright. I just got off a call with my, one of my coaching students. We managed to make some great progress on Matthew's tracks. So I'm pretty excited about that. But... Now I gotta work on my own music. <laughs> That's more difficult. 
a little bit. I don't really have a plan uh, at the moment. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And later that day, something incredible happened. All right, I, I know I'm all over the place, so bear with me. I just came back to this drum and bass project, this one. And now it sounds like this. You know I'm absolutely going to be f including that in the DJ set now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it before the festival comes. I don't know, I'm gonna try, but right now I'm my mindset is that I'm just gonna play an unreleased and unfinished bare bones version of this. Yeah, I already know people are gonna go absolutely f nuts over this. I know because I'm going nuts. I'm f excited now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. On the next day, I got straight to work. It was time to record the vocals. I tweaked some things and now I wanna record some vocals for this track. The thing is, when I tried it today, you, you could hear like the shitty acoustics in my room. So I'm going outside so that I can get some better acoustics. But there is a problem with that. I'm not gonna be able to feel the tempo of the project. So <laughs> I brought my smartwatch and I installed like a metronome app on it. So the tempo of the project is 175, so when I turn it on, it's gonna vibrate. You probably can't hear it, but I can feel it on my wrist. So that way I'm gonna be able to feel the tempo even when I'm not listening to the track itself. Let's do this. What's up? <laughs> I'm so f excited, guys. It's almost midnight and I've literally been working on this drum and bass project all f day. And I did that with the biggest smile on my face. Like, I. I, I love this project. I'm, I'm in love with it. I've never in my life, I don't think, I, I've never experimented this much with the arrangement. Like, I, I've no clue what I'm doing, honestly. Like, this is my first time making drum and bass, but there's a switch up here. There's another switch up in here. Yes, switch up after switch up, then this is my favorite part. It just flows so nicely. Yeah, there you go. I, I pretty much almost finished it. So tomorrow I'm gonna be exporting the final version of this track and I'm gonna upload the EP to, to my music distributor, to, to this show kid. Yeah, <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> Big update. The track has passed the car test. <laughs> it sounds amazing in the car, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much ready to export the final version. So yeah, we, we, we have the EP ready. <sighs> Impossible! How could he do this? He was constantly jumping around and starting a bunch of different projects. It doesn't make sense. Or... Does it? You see, there is an upside to starting many projects. It's not all wasted effort. In the span of the last four weeks, I actually started 29 new projects. That's not counting the ones I didn't save. And out of all those, I only ended up finishing three. Does that mean I was unsuccessful? I was constantly going back and forth between different projects. But if I didn't give myself that many chances, none of these ideas would have ever come to life. And I gotta admit, some of my other ideas were just straight up trash. Trying to finish those would not have been the greatest use of my time. There are moments when you have to push through to get the ball rolling, but as you can see, you really don't have to finish every single project. We're doing it. We're uploading this to DistroKid. That's the, how the album cover is gonna look like. The name of the EP is gonna be Amusia. The meaning behind it is that it's a disease that when you have it, you're musically illiterate. You don't know how to make good music, basically. <laughs> this EP is gonna go live right after I'm done playing with the set. So I'm gonna be releasing it and playing it at the same time. But yeah, I, I'm just checking this for the sixth time now, <laughs> making sure everything is right. You know what? Let's just press it. Continue. Ah, Let's do this, guys. So after finally uploading it, this EP got me thinking. With the tracklist being techno, house, minimal house, house with rap elements, and drum and bass to top it all off, it's a bit all over the place. And in the past, I've given the advice that you should focus on just one very specific genre, double down on it, and do nothing else. Yet, 
making this EP was some of the most fun I've had in a very long while. And when it comes to music production, an art form isn't enjoying it, like the whole point, art for art's sake and all that. On this journey, I've come to realize that genre doesn't really matter all that much, as long as you're having fun. As cliche as that might sound. So yeah, I gotta admit, I was wrong. I had a sound check scheduled in the early morning, so I packed all my gear, got some drip, and I was on my way. Um, I, I, I didn't have much time to practice the DJ set yesterday, but I guess it's whatever, right? So there's no turning back now. I'm excited, but at the same time, I just, I kind of want it to just be over now. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie. I plugged in my setup, and it seemed like the sound check went smoothly, but... Something felt wrong, like something may have been overlooked. Well, I forgot about it, and when I went backstage, I even got some cool gifts for being an artist. Wow, Kuma Turbo! <laughs> the festival started to unravel. Vlogging time! Vlogging time! During the technical breaks between the artists, there were some fun contests. I even won a bag. And speaking of artists, there were some damn good artists. That's a high standard I had to live up to. One guy even started blowing balloons as his intro. Felt cinematic. I especially enjoyed this guy's DJ set. But it was time for the last artist of the festival. Me. The announcers started hyping me up. A historia samurajem techno jest następująca. Przybył on do nas, aby uwolnić się od złej klątwy czarnoksiężnika techno. Otóż został przeklęty czarem amuzji. I w tym momencie jedynym sposobem, jedynym, aby odzyskać jego słuch, jest zrobić tutaj rozpierdol! The time has come. And I didn't tell you this, but I even had a special version of this track prepared where I directly welcomed the city to the festival. But not everything went according to plan. My microphone stopped working for some reason. It kept turning on and off throughout the set. I had no other choice but to roll with it. After the first couple transitions, I kinda got into a flow. Especially that drum and bass track landed well with the public. Check this out. And it didn't stop there. Things kept getting wilder and wilder. At 
one point people even started singing along to one of my old tracks. Which kind of blew my mind. They actually knew the lyrics. <laughs> Everything was going smoothly from here, until this happened. My sound suddenly cut off. What could have went wrong? Did we overlook something during the sound check? Did the sound guy trip over a cable or something? I instantly lost the public. I will never recover from this. I look stupid. What are people gonna think of me? Everyone hates me. They think I left the stove. Wait, what was I just doing? But what happened next was even more unexpected. I mean, yes, it was my plan all along. After noticing that two tracks on the EP both have a moment of silence right before the drop, I took advantage of this and set up a transition where I pretend like the sound stops working. No one expected it. I truly am a genius. So yeah, to summarize, the festival was pretty cool. Go stream the EP on Spotify and watch this video next. Helicopter, 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 helicopter.